summer holidays are great, aren't they? You don't have to wake up for anything. You can go to bed when you want. There's nothing to do. You don't have any work. There's no structure. There's no routine. But if you're anything like me, then you get bored of that quite quickly and you are desperately wanting something to focus on. And if that is you, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna talk you through a few ideas of what you could do to balance all of that free time, that fun you might be having, with something to give you a little bit of structure, focus, and purpose. Hi everyone, and welcome to Mr. Estrick Biology. My name's Miss Estrick, and if you are new here, then I've been teaching for over 10 years, and I'm here to help you to get to grips with those challenging concepts in biology, improve study skills, techniques, and to help you to get the grades that you deserve. But in today's video, it's the summer holiday, so we're doing something slightly different. And I've got three things that I'm gonna to suggest to you that you could do to try and give yourself a little bit more focus and structure to your summer holidays. Now, number one is actually something that I've created for you for free, which is for year 11 students going into year 12, but also for year 12 students going into year 13. And I've created two separate free masterclasses that I'm gonna be running in August. They're both going to be covering topics that you've already learned either in GCSE or year 12, how to answer some of those really challenging questions and giving you a head start to the topics coming up at the start of year 12 or at the start of year 13. And not only all of that, it comes with a free workbook. So if you would like to come along to that one off free session, for whichever one applies to you, then I've put the links in the bottom. They are both going to be recorded, so if you can't attend live, then you can still watch the recording that will go on my YouTube channel, but to get the free workbook, you do still need to sign up. Number two, I'm going to talk you through suggested biology-related books that you could read, and this is something that I get asked quite a lot on Instagram usually, is what books do I recommend? So what I've actually done is had a look at the Oxbridge website, and these are the books that they recommend. And this is if you are planning on going to do a biology related degree, these are some of the books that they have suggested. So let's roll the footage. These are the books that they suggested would be really beneficial for you to read in addition to studying your A-levels. Now you could read these before you've even started your A-levels. You don't have to have lots of background knowledge to be able to read them and understand them. And they will really help you with your biology A-level but also it shows that you do have a love of biology. So when you then come to write your personal statement for university, you can talk about it or in an interview, you can talk about it. And it shows that you do have a genuine interest in biology. Plus, these are great reads, particularly The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. That is my own personal recommendation. Definitely go and give that a read. And if you've read your own book that isn't on that list, please put it in the comments below. Share it, let other people know about all the amazing biology books that are out there. I've also put the link for all of the books in the description below. And finally, the big one of what you could do to really upskill yourself. So we're talking about here a skill glow up. And if you do want to either develop your science skills, your productivity skills, skills you might need for university, medicine, dentistry, then I'd highly recommend Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of creative courses and classes taught by experts to help you learn new skills. And I've actually got a link down in the description, which if you click and sign up through that, you'll get one month free. So you could basically use it for the summer holidays and then cancel it before you have to pay. So there's a little get around if you do want to use Skillshare, but I know that if you do sign up, you will love it so much that you won't cancel it after the free month because there is so much value to gain from it. Whether it is you want to learn and develop a skill that will be relevant for your career, or maybe just something completely different. It's the summer after all. They have all sorts. It could be creative writing. It could be illustration. It could be graphic design. It could be so many other things. And that is why it's amazing. You can learn basically any skill on there from experts. This is an affiliate link, but I would highly recommend it whether it was or wasn't an affiliate link. They're not paying me to advertise it. I actually went to them to ask to advertise it because I love it so much. And what it means is you don't pay any extra. In fact, you're getting a month free, 
but I get a little bit of money if you do sign up. It just helps to support me to be able to continue to create this content for you. So there we go. There's just a few ideas of what you could do if you are finding that you're getting a little bit bored and lacking focus on how to be more productive this summer and to develop new skills. Now, if you want some more specific ideas on what exactly you can do to prepare for starting A-levels or for starting year 13, then check out either of the videos that I'm gonna link on the end screen because I go through exactly what you could do to prepare for those and get a head start. But for now, that is the end. So if you have found this helpful, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe.